everybody doing today? Yeah. Good. <laughs> uh, sounds like there are quite a few Marie Kondo fans in the audience. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'd like to also introduce you, this is also Marie, her interpreter, so Hello. she'll be helping us a little bit this morning as well. Um, I have to say, I personally also experienced this massive transformation once I went through the KonMari method, uh, not necessarily of tidying up, I mean, that's definitely one way that I choose what is inside my house, but I found that once I started to make decisions that way, yeah. my whole life started to kind of be run in this way. So. Um, from me to you, I just want to thank you for changing my life. I'm so glad to hear that. So for those people in the audience who are not familiar with the KonMari method of tidying up, uh, could you maybe briefly describe to us how your method works? はい、えっと、コンマリメソッドっていうのは、あの、ただの本当にいわゆる家の整理整頓だけではなくて、えっと、家の片付けを通して自分にとって何が大切なのかという自分の生きる価値観に気づくためのメソッドなんです。So the Komari method is not just about organizing what's in your home or just cleaning out your home. It's about figuring out what's important to you. So really um identifying your life life personal values. 一番の特徴はこの捨てるものと残すものを選ぶときに必ず触ったときにときめくかという基準でものを選んでいくということです。So one of the most important feature of the Komari method is that when you are deciding what to let go or what to keep in your life, uh, the standard that you use is whether or not that item sparks joy for you. で、これを繰り返していくことによって、一つ一つのものに対して、これはときめくかときめかないかっていうのをやっていくことで、自分の中のときめき感度というのが鍛えられていくんです。So through this process of identifying what sparks joy for you or what doesn't, what you're doing is honing your sensitivity to joy. 結果、そのものに対してだけではなく、例えば仕事だったり人間関係 だったり、すべての選択肢において、それは自分を幸せにしてくれる選択肢かどうかというふうに考えられるようになって、その選択肢を選べるようになっていくんです。Honing the sensitivity to joy not only applies to your belongings, but it can also apply, be applied to your career, human relationship, in all areas where it involves decision making. And you'll be able to ask yourself, does this, does this spark joy for, for me? Does it make me happy? 結果として家ももちろん片付くし、自分の人生もこう丸ごと変わっていくというのがコンマリメソッドの大きな特徴です。so the greatest method, uh, greatest characteristic of the Komari method is that not only will you be able to organize your home, you will be able to really dramatically change your life for the better. So tell us, why is it so difficult for yeah. some of us to let go of things? Mm -hmm. Why do we keep so much stuff and why do we accumulate so many things? そうですね。あの、2 well, the important thing to, that you need to realize that is that you really don't understand if the, some, all the belongings in your home is something that is necessary to you. そして、そして、もう一つは、やはり、あの、一つ一つのものの定位置が明確に決まっていないということですね。そうです。一つでも家の中にたくさんものがあるんですけれども、その中の一つでも定位置が決まっていないものがあると、それをなんとなく。いろんな場所に置いてしまう。そしてなんとなく置いてしまっているものが一つでもあると、そこに集まってくるようにものが散らかっていくっていう現象が起きてしまうので、物の定位置をきっちり決めておくっていうのはすごく大事なことなんです。so why is uh, having a designated um, space for each of your items so important? It's because, well, while your house may look organized on the surface, e if you have even one item that you don't have a, a designated uh, location for, you'll see that the item will sort of migrate all over your house and that will attract clutter. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all appreciate that because we've all witnessed that. <laughs> um, I think we all have experienced clutter and disorganization in our lives and how that creates kind of a psychic stress on us and, and anxiety that seeps into other parts of our lives. 
Um, and you claim that people can achieve maximum joy through a nice, tidy environment. How does that work? それはですねあの私のが考えているのはその自分が不安になってしまうっていう状態ってそもそも自分が何をしたらいいのかわからないとかどういうふうにすれば自分が幸せなのかわからないっていう状態そ,れそういった状態こそが不安とか不安の気持ちを思い起こすと思うんですね。So, what I feel is that、uh, the anxiety or stress is triggered by a condition in which you don't know what you should do or what you don't know what makes you happy. だけれども、やはり片付けを通して、あの本当にこれは私を幸せにしてくれるものであるで、そしてこれは私を支えてくれるものであるっていうふうに、自分が持っているもの一つ一つに対してすごく意識的になってくると、あ私ってたくさんのものに支えられているんだっていう、このなんか自然に自分が周りいろんな大きなものに支えられている感覚っていうのを持てるようになっていくんです。So, but when you start to organize or tidy the things around you, you'll start to notice that each item、um, that you decide to keep is really supporting. ですね。Um, so, this quote from your book I thought was especially moving. The lives of those who tidy thoroughly and completely in a single shot are with it, without exception, dramatically altered. That is a really profound claim. <laughs>、um, can you give us some examples of how your clients' lives have changed as a result of going through the KonMari method? そうですね、私のお客さんで例えばある方で女性の方だったんですけれどもあの大手の出版社に勤めていて。勤めている方がいらっしゃいました。So,、uh, one of my clients,、um, a female client of mine, she used to work for a very large uh, public, uh, publishing firm. And uh, my client, she、uh, had a very glamorous position as she was an editor of a very、um, Famous magazine and so on, and her life、um, from the objective standpoint looked very glamorous. けれども、彼女が実際に私の片付けレッスンを受けたときに気づいたのは、自分の仕事,用に仕事に着ていくためのスーツだったり、仕事用の書類に全くときめかないということだったんです。But what she noticed through、uh, the tidying lesson that she, as she did with me is that she realized that, this,、uh, for, for instance, the business suit that she wore to work or all her、uh, materials that she needed for work did not spark joy for her. それに気づいたときに、自分はひょっとしてこう仕事に今はときめいてないということに気づかれて、実際に会社を辞められたんです。So,、uh, this allowed her to realize that perhaps her career itself is not sparking joy for her, and、uh, she ultimately ended、um, leaving her position. <laughs> そして今ではあの自分の,あの理想としていた旅いろんな世界中を旅をしながらその自分のライフスタイルを発信していく、まあ、日本人の著者として活動されているっていうそんな方もいらっしゃいます。So now、uh, what she does now is that、uh, she really、um, understood her love of travel and so she's sort of a travel writer now and communicating、um, all, her, uh, all her travels and her inspiration around the world. So that's what she does now. That's very inspiring. <laughs> やっぱりね、片付けをすることによって、本当に自分はどんな状態だと幸せなのかなっていうふうに考えられる機会っていうのを持てだっていうのはとても大きいと思います。So I think this Kamari method really gives you an opportunity to really explore what kind of condition or state or environment truly makes you happy, brings you joy. So you've said that the most important thing to focus on when you're going through this method is to focus on what you want to keep rather than What you want to throw away. So focus on what sparks joy. And yet, it can be very difficult to make these decisions.、Um, what advice do you have for people when they're going through this process? And how do you help them make de these decisions? そうですね、物をこう捨てたり手放したり残すっていうことを選ぶときにとっても大事なのは、まずは簡単なアイテムからやるっていうのはすごく大事なことなんです。So, when you're, you're... When you go about making that decision,、um, the first step you need to do is that start with something simple for you, easy for you. 
こういう話をするとやっぱり皆さんすごく難しいアイテムから考えてしまうことが多いんですけれどもこれはあのおばあちゃんからもらった食器なんですとかこれはこういう思い出があるこれなんですっていうものがあるんですが思い出品は後回し。So oftentimes, the common mistake that we make is that we start with something very memorable to us or important to us, for instance, an heirloom dish that we got from our grandmother and so on. But those sentimental items should be left until the very end of the process. こんまりメソッドっていうのはあの私がおすすめしているのは片付けの順番を明確にあのおすすめしているんですけれども一番初めがお洋服次が本次が書類小物思い出品この順番でカテゴリー別にやっていくことによって自然と自分のときめくものを選ぶ感度っていうのが鍛わっていくようになっていくんです。So in the Komori method, we actually have a very specific order of in which you follow to clean, to, to start tidying and organizing, and it goes from clothes, books, paper, miscellaneous mm-hmm. items, or what we call komono in Japanese, and then finally sentimental items. But when you follow this order, what you're doing is you're gradually honing your sensitivity to joy. One of the um, interesting things that you wrote in your book is also how, um, like, The respect that we should cultivate for our physical things.、Mm-hmm. Like the socks in your drawer, don't just ball them up in a pile、mm-hmm. inside your drawer. The socks are working very hard for you, and when they're、mm-hmm. living in your drawer, they're resting. They're,、um, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, they're kind of recovering from the work that they did for you before, and they're getting ready for the next round.、Mm-hmm. And that、um, when you decide to discard something,、mm-hmm. that you should thank the items. Like, do you believe that objects have feelings? And, You know, what is the thinking behind offering this gratitude? Like, how do you see physical objects in, in the world? そうですねあの捨てるものにお礼を言う理由はなぜかっていうと私はものが生きているっていう感覚というよりも全てのものは必ず理由があって自分のもとに来てくれたそのご縁があるっていうふうに考えているからなんです。So, it's not that I, I see、um, objects as living things, but it's rather that、um, I really emphasize on the story behind it. I think it was fate that brought that item into my life. So, that's what I focus on. なので例えばこう物を手放すときにときめかないものだけれども例えばあの以前これを買ったものを買った瞬間にはときめかせてくれたものだなそしたら帰った瞬間に私をときめかせてくれてありがとうっていう気持ちを込めて手放したりあとは買ったけれども一度も着なかったお洋服に関してはこういう洋服は私に実は似合わないっていうのを教えてくれてありがとうっていうふうにあのお礼を言ってから手放したりきちんとそのものが自分にしてくれたこととか自分のもとに来てくれた理由っていうのに感謝をして手放すことによってじゃあ自分のいろんな本当すべて自分のもとに来たものって理由があるんだじゃあだからやっぱり残すものも大切にしようっていうふうにより思えるようになっていくんです。So when, when I'm letting go of an item that no longer sparks joy for me, for instance, I think back to the, the moment when I purchased that item and it did spark joy for me in that moment. Or for instance, a clothes that I never wore,、um, I, but I will thank it. For、um, actually making me realize what doesn't look good on me. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, all these items have a narrative or contributions that it made for me. So, but when I focus on the reason why these items came into my life, it allows me to, ha- to foster a sense of gratitude for the items that I do decide to keep. It seems like the KonMari method is really a spiritual transformation disguised as home organization. But it really is about spiritual transformation. It is.、Um, because you're teaching people how to cultivate gratitude for the things in their lives and to let go of attachment to the things that don't serve us anymore and to、um, overcome our fear of the future and to be compassionate and respectful to everything that exists. Um, even the inanimate objects, the non living things, and also to recognize the false illusion of happiness through excessive material purchases.、Um, how, does the, how do you describe how the KonMari method helps to bring spiritual transformation in people's lives? <laughs> そうですねあのやはりこう一つ一つのものに向き合っていくこの作業ですねこれは自分にとってときめくかっていう作業を続けていくことであの本当に自分にとって何をどんなことが喜びをもたらすのかっていう自分の内面を見つめ直す作業にもなるからなんです。So this process of、um, really facing each of your belongings and、uh, 
asking yourself what sparks joy for you is really about identifying your sense of value. So it's really a, you're communing with your inner self. そう、で、自分を見つめ直す、自分と向き合うっていうことと同時にその自分の周りのものですね、周りの世界とも向き合うことだと私は考えているんです。And I also feel that by confronting yourself, you're also are confronting the world around you and your connections to it. で、私はあの例えば家だったりもだったりっていうのはあの本当にただ単なる単なるものではなくて常に自分を守ってくれたり癒してくれているなんか同じこう関係性のあるこう関係だっていうふうに私は感じているんですねそうあみんなこれ and it is through this process of tithing and organizing that allows me to really realize that connection. で、それをすることで、あ、常に守られているっていう感覚があることってすごくその心の癒しになったり、その新しいことを始める時のこう勇気になったりするんです。And like I said before, by nourishing your connection to the physical world and realizing all these different things that support you, it really gives gives you a sense of well-being. And I also feel that by nourishing your connection to the physical world and realizing all these different things that support you, it really gives gives you a sense of courage when you're starting something new as well. Um, just getting to know you better mm -hmm. and having read your book, it mm -hmm. has also made me think not only about the things that I keep in my own life, but also the relationship between the things that are in mm -hmm. my life. So for example, um, even the inanimate objects, like, um, my, uh, uh, like my dishes, you know, or the things that are stored in a basket, I even want to know, like, for these things, would they be happy inside this basket or inside this drawer? And um, so tell, t what, what is your perspective on the role that design has in our lives? そうですね。デザインとっていう感覚で言うと私はデザインっていうのは何かっていうとすごくこう例えばま愛情とかこう喜びとかそういった曖昧なコンセプトを例えばその絵とか作品にしていく形あるものにしていく作業だと思うんです
で例えばこうク,リエイタクリエイターの人が素晴らしいクリエイターな方がいてその方の周りが散らかっているだけれどもそれはその方がにとってはその散らかった状態が心地いいということなんですで大事なのは自分にとってはじゃあどういう環境だと一番最もクリエイティビティが発揮できる心地よい状態なのかっていうことを知っておくことだと思うんです。So, my emphasis is not on the mess around a certain creator. It's perfectly fine if an, a brilliant creator feels, it, feels that the condition around him is messy, and as long as it's, he's comfortable with that condition, that's perfectly fine for me.、Uh, what's important for the Komori method is to identify what kind of state, environment makes you the most happy, most creative. そうだから実際にあの私のお客さんでもあの人だけいらっしゃったんですけれども、片付けをしてで見て物を減らすっていうことをやったらすごく落ち着かなかったやっぱり私はそれなりにしっかり物があってこうたくさんあった方が落ち着くんだっていうふうに気づかれた方も実際にいらっしゃいます。So a, a client of mine actually、um, she became very very uncomfortable the fewer items she had around her so through through my method she actually realized that she needed a certain amount of stuff around her to feel comfortable. だからこんまりメソッドの特徴はとにかく物を減らせばいいっていうわけでもなくどれだけ持ってればいいという提唱は具体的にしたことはなくてあなたにとって心地いい環境っていうのはどういうことなのかっていうのを問い直しているんです。So, the Komori method, the most important characteristic of the Komori method is not about trying to have fewer and fewer things,、mm-hmm. but really exploring what makes you happy. How do you define、uh, happiness or what sparks joy for you? That's the most crucial part of the Komori method. I think this is the part that was so、uh, transformative for me、yeah. because it helped me build the muscles within myself to know what. Sparks joy in my life, and what do I want to invite more of into my life? And it also made it easier for me to say no to things that I didn't want to introduce into my life. And this is how it was transforming,、uh, transformative for me. Yeah. So,、um, what advice do you have for people out there who may be skeptical that they could actually successfully do this? I've also heard people say, oh, well, I have small children, I could never do this. What advice do you have? <laughs> そうですねあの本当にこのメソッドっていうのはあの実際に初めて見てあの初めて見てこの,この効果が得られるものなので私のおすすめは本当に小さなステップでもいいからまずは始めてみるということです。So, the Komori method,、um, you cannot garner the full effects of the method unless you start. So, I really encourage you to take that first step. <laughs> <laughs> ね、あの私の片付け法っていわゆるこのあの一気に短期にやりましょうっていうふうにお伝えしていて洋服を片付けるときは洋服を全部いっぺんに集めてきてそれから一つ一つときめくものを選んでいくっていう少し大掛かりな作業なんですけれどもこれも実際にいっぺんに集めてしまった方が結局短時間で早く終わるっていうすごくこう効率的な仕組みにはなっているんですよね。So,、um, in my book, I explain how、um, you should attempt the Komori method all at once, all in one shot, and、uh, finish it completely. So, for instance, if you're、um, tidying clothes, you compile it into a huge mountain, and then you, you take each item in your hand and ask yourself if it sparks joy. And this may sound like a very big project, and it, it is, but I find it that、um, once you tackle it all at once, in all in one shot, it actually takes you a lot shorter amount of time to finish. でも最近はあのやはりこのお,かお子さんがいらっしゃる方がすごくそんなに時間を取れないっていうふうにあのおっしゃってくださることがすごく多くなってきたので少しだけ実はメソッドでアドバイスを変えていたとこ変えているところもあってじゃあ洋服全部集めるのが無理だったら例えば今日はトップスだけとかもう今日はスカートだけっていうふうに小分けでもいいのでとにかくこう進めてみるこれだけでもだいぶ変わってきますっていうふうにお伝えしています。But at the same time, I completely emphasize with、uh, a lot of you that have children and you don't have The time to tackle such a big project. So, I've been modifying my method a little bit so that,、uh, for instance, with clothes, you don't have to do all the clothes at once. You can, do, you can choose to do just the tops or you know, sweaters today or skirts or bottoms, bottoms the other day. So, even these small steps can make a big difference. So,、um, you have a Netflix show coming up, right? Uh, tell us more about that. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank
So uh, for the Netflix show, this is the first time you'll be able to see uh, me going into my American client's house and uh, giving a lesson from beginning to end. You'll be able to see the whole process, and I'll be visiting eight families. ありがとうございます。このショーって本当にすごく特徴的なのは、いわゆる片付けだけではなくて、最も一番フォーカスしているのはどんなふうにして片付けることによって、そのクライアントさんの人生が変わっていくのかっていうところにフォーカスした番組